glasi ya wanna make glue using um, sanitizer bottle and um, yeah so I had to improvise one using sanitizer bottle so I was showing you guys um, how I used one um, okay I used candle and then lighter okay initially I wanted to just burn the lead of one of the lighter so that I'll be able to drill a hole but apparently that one didn't work out um, so yeah in in, in in our country you you realize that when you buy glue it is fit in a can containers so it is always so difficult to pour it out if you are a woodworker and uh, if you are an hard person so definitely it will be sticking everywhere so i have to, to come out with an idea of diy my glue bottle oh voila work with me through the journey so once you burn the the lid you just make sure you hold something on top so that it won't burn you know, i try to use my hands then like hold my fingers while itching because it got burnt a bit and once i was having my idea and then i was wondering which glue should i stick with the lid um with the sharp part so the sharp part is um is new uh, there is some glue which i bought uh, the nail free so they have that sharp part which i use so once i promise my container and then like i didn't throw that part when i was opening the nail free uh, so that's what i wanted to improvise here but in your place you can get something that is suitable for you for me i saw that is what is working on my side and that is what i opted to use so initially I burned that so I opted that it will just stick to the cover but it didn't so I opted to use a super glue hold it for some time then expose it with the heat and voila I got mine so and later on I opted to use the sanitizer container by just cutting it out and then I stick with um, nail free glue actually nail free glue is the, water, the one I used to stick the sanitizer container and voila and there you have it so I am so fascinated by this idea it is so beautiful very much so that is an example of um, so this is how I cut my sanitizer container so you see that um, so it was so difficult to remove so I had to cut it off and then after cutting it off then I, uh, I start from inside out and then I apply a uh, nail free glue that's why I have two leads the one for the nail free um, which is the lead the, 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 the lead for the close cup for the sanitizer and the one now for the normal water bottle yeah so the nail free glue, glue are available check my, my little weight instagram account and hold the us there yeah so the when i was buying these glue bottles i was told there are several types so the first one small ones you see i was told those are low quality and then i was told the pond one is a good quality so i opted to use to separate them since i had several small ones so i had a, a clean and sanitizer container i opted to pour it in one container then the panel one i used to pour in the big um clean and sanitizer yeah so uh, pouring glue into an into the bottle is tricky so i wanted initially to use a syringe but it was difficult so you pour the glue to the cup and then you squeeze out the hair so once you release there voila the glue goes direct to the container it was fun doing it and i hope you will do it on your hand so i keep squeezing it squeezing it squeezing it finally the glue 
is inside so i didn't want to pour all of it inside because um i didn't want to use all of it so i had to wipe it clean so that when i'm opening it will be easy to open and then i seal that container and then i fill the one for hand wash so this one for hand wash i had to use now the several glues which i had um of course i had to mix different types because i had many different painting containers and the glue was still inside so it was not useful since it was going into waste when i will be using it uh, yeah, so I already prep one wood that uh, once I was cutting it, it splits into two. So I opted to use it for this DIY to show you how it is so awesome and fascinating to use a glue bottle than the normal brush and using your fingers to get glue out of the, the bottle. So yeah, so I had to um, uh, okay, combine glue from various companies into hand wash bottle so that I know that quality maybe I can use on a different project but when I'm trying to join big items then I will use the other one so probably I'll stick to one glue at the end of the day but for now since I had remaining glue I had to use those ones first clear my paintings so that is what I did basically and um, those empty containers that I'm missing there I'm going to show you another project that I will use um, I will not throw them away in, uh, at first now because I still have a work to use it so I will just seal them on so they don't dry and later on I will show you how or what is the next project I will use them for because I'm going to empty all the glue inside that bottle. So actually when I was emptying this um, small several types of glue containers I realized their viscosity is different because they are from different companies even opening them was something so tricky like these ones actually almost make my fingers painful because it was so difficult to open and then now i realized some was almost drying on the edges so it was also a bit difficult to get them off but i tried my best since i needed to use that balloon so i needed to empty the containers so Okay, I'll just say maybe you it is always good maybe you stick to one or two companies. So since it was I was a beginner in doing wood work, so I had to buy several of them. But now I'm actually sticking to one because I'm seeing I'm already see that it was how well it worked. So yeah. So having having a glue a, a glue container is so awesome. It makes your glue work easier, very pretty and um, straight. Yeah, and also having a glue brush. So for me, I opted to use silicone. I'm sure in my other projects, you'll be able to see how I use my silicone brush. Because once it is dried, you just peel it off. And it is so simple to use and peel off yeah so i had to mix all the glue in one container because it was just small small pending glue in several glue containers i had because um once you just use the glue it is so difficult to clear but now with the glue container you just squeeze out squeeze out until it is finished so when i was pouring glue to this unwash container it was so easy to pour it down because um yeah, this types of glue mixture was having a different viscosity so some were thick some were so easy to flow so that's why i didn't have to suck out air first yeah so in various countries 
uh, you find when they sell glue they sell glue with the glue container but apparently in my country you just have to buy glue then improvise your own or just use a spoon to scoop the glue so this is a, a wood I had prep earlier to use it and show you how it is so awesome to use your wood glue uh, container see how that line is so neat and awesome very very great to have it and um so this is actually my best love container oh just check out just pouring just pour so awesome and i'm so happy with what um the idea i did of the item that i just built i'm so proud of myself because it makes my work so easy and also it is economical it saves a lot of wood from getting to waste or sticking with the container or maybe um yeah it's just basically so economical and easy to go so thank you for sticking around i hope you will create your own using available containers but make sure when you are making your own uh, you use airtight container so that the glue will not dry up because once the glue dry up it will not come out so you will be doing a waste yourself um i'm so glad i was able to do something practical and throughout my project you'll be able to see how i use this glue containers because they were so great help i'm happy you're around and thank you for watching please subscribe turn on notification bell and give me a comment what do you think